What up, world? Rico Youngblood. Rico Youngblood, baby. This is for educational purposes only. This is definitely for educational purposes only. This is an article, Widespread Superstition, The Purported Invulnerability of Workers of Color to the Occupational uh, Heat Stress by Alan Dickerson from the National Library of Medicine. Listen to this. Uh, promotion of immigration schemes offered one African-American physician an opportunity to recast the discussion. Martin Delaney saw white fairity as a limitation. Our oppressors, when urging us to go to Africa, tell us that we are better adapted to the climate than they. This we are willing to admit with our argument, without adducting the physiological reason why, that colored people can and do stand warm climates better than the whites. And find, a, and find an answer fully to the point in the fact that they also stand all other climates, cold, temperate, and modified, that white people can stand. Therefore, according to our oppressor's own showing, we are a superior race, being endowed with properties fitting us for all parts of the earth, while they are only adapted to certain parts. Of course, this proves our right and duty to live wherever we may choose, while the white race may only live where they can. Delaney's version of climatic determinism does turn the racial hierarchy upside down, exposing a plain view, plain, exposing in plain view is social and politically constructed artificiality. He followed his bold, his bold claim of African American superiority with the stab that in hot places, whites become perfectly indolent, lazy, useless, requiring someone to work for them. Did you know that, baby? One.